Yo! Video games. Did you ever actually try to play Legend of Dragon? Legend of Dragon? Oh, I got Jesus to Christ. like the fourth, third or fourth disc. So you got pretty far. I, I did get pretty far. For and then I was like, this, this like kind of suffer from the same stuff. Mm, it's just, I was on a boss. It was a really, it was a gimmick fight boss where like you had, you, the gimmick of the boss was you had to use items. Right. Like damaging items. So it means I had to go basically back down to town, back through a dungeon or da back down a mountain to a town to like get the item, stock up on them. Or play through it, replay through it, an earlier save up to a certain back right. to the point. It's been a hot minute. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's it's not bad. Watchdog Unity, thank uh, you. It's not. It's not. Uh, not quite as good as as, as say like you know the the Final Fantasies of the time or or maybe you know some of the other. It reminds it's me right. of like the, the Sony effort, like Heart of Darkness and stuff like that, where they were trying to like break into the RPG scape and then they eventually got what which crew made uh Legend of Dragon? It was a Sony Japan, but it was like the guy who First did Mario game. RPG. He doesn't work. Oh, he I left see. after that game, I think. Um <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. The, the funniest thing about the game was I was early on in the game, I was playing through it. And here's the thing. You probably, I know in your mind, I don't know, did you ever play it at all? Very briefly. Okay, so very briefly. The one, you wouldn't remember anything. But I was like, sitting here and I'm like, listening to the music and I'm like, it's very low key. It's very like. Sure. And I said, this is an American composer, isn't it? <laughs> and it was. was yeah. Yeah. Because something about American composers at the time, they kind of just. They didn't really seem to take gaming music like as like they didn't go as as hard as other RP, especially yeah, they didn't RPG. like the, they didn't let the music be its own character. Yeah, like, the most memorable music was the menu music. Oh god! It's also kind of got like performance issues with the game. Oh, and the other big big problem was. I'm playing it on PS3 through an HDMI cable. Sure. And, and I'm playing it on a PS1 disc. So there's this lag. Because the whole game is based on hitting the button right before oh, the attack. Oh, so that's right. fucked up on it. You know, so it's defense. It's PS3 basically animation. like a three second almost, or like mm, second and a half. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, most, most rhythm games like Parappa and Buster Group are fucked. Like yep. whenever we played them on those systems, it was fucked. Yeah. So. Okay. Eventually, Honestly. after so many times, you learn how to like read it being like a second and a half ahead yeah. of where it's supposed to be. You kind of sort of get into a gel with it. That wasn't really helping. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's like one of the more fun parts is like, you know, the FF8 like action button shit yeah. of the game. The other, and here's the other weird issue, uh, which isn't the game's fault necessarily, but um, it's a Sony first oh, party God. game and it has a interesting translation. Because it's definitely something that the people at, at Sony at the time, they were not used to translating RPGs. Oh, I see. Like, at all. So you've got some really weird, like, dialogue and, and dialogue choices. So it's kind of got like a, it's got, I would say it's got an awkward, awkward translation and... That sounds okay. Not bad. Definitely has a... I feel like it's got a hardcore fandom in the same way that, like, Chrono Cross has a hardcore fandom. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's kind of in that same boat. Like, a asking asking a developer to remake... Which is funny, because Blue Point was, like, super... said they were super down for it. Sure, but I don't think Sony would be. Oh, exactly. Yeah, Sony, Sony, <laughs> Sony is not about, like, turn-based RPGs and shit. Resurrecting those kind of yeah. games. They're about, like, third-person action adventures now. I can't remember if it was... I don't remember if it was King Katuriagi or I think it was Shu Yoshida, and it wasn't even that long ago. It was only a few years ago. Someone asked him specifically about like Legend of Dragoon. He's just like he said, I, "Let me think." He, he said he sat there and he thought about it for a minute. And he said, "I'm just gonna say we have zero plans to make any RPGs at so <laughs> He was like. He was like, hmm, maybe in the, he's like, he's like, no, like it, not maybe in the future, or you never know if the right idea strikes us, we'll come back to yeah, it. Not, he was just like, it's not close to the we're never brand. making an RPG again. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna bullshit you. 
be honest, like, that stuff on the PlayStation was, you know, where it essentially lived its, its most triumphant life. Because the PlayStation 1 was the RPG system. Yeah. But the weird thing about Dragoon was that it was kind of a huge... It was actually a huge disappointment in Japan. Yeah. And it did actually a lot better out here. Because out here, we were just like, fuck yeah, more Final Fantasy VII stuff. Sure. Uh, where in Japan, they're, they're, they were super loyalist. Yeah, they were loyalists, so if it wasn't made by Square or any of the big Japanese developers, it's like Square that. ain't shit. <laughs> yeah. Second. Or for us, it was just like, oh, really? A new RPG? Oh, I'll gobble that shit up. Because they also, they've, they've been playing RPGs. They've been in love with this since the NES days. For us, it was like, RPGs were not cool until Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, seven because it had a different setting, you know, changed the way everyone sort of it saw. It helped, honestly. Oh, it, it, it was it was a big. I think it was a big part of getting over like whatever the roadblock was. The stigma. I think the idea too is that when you look at a, a traditional, um, when you look at like RPGs that came before, you get this kind of like thing in your head. I'm like, okay, so ah, it's like fuck. it's like D and D shit. Sorry, right? Chad, no more perfect. Um, and the pro and the problem with D and D, quote unquote D and D shit, is that you innately think this is going to be like super complex. Oh, perfect. And everyone kind of just kind of like looks at it and goes like, oh, I don't have time or or the patience to try to figure this shit out. Yeah. But Seven had the advantage of being like, okay, whoa, this this world is super fucking cool and crazy, and I, I want to know more about what's going on here. This fucking soundtrack is kicking in right now. I like did no other games either. It's just like some classical. He's a guy who just plays classical music in Japan or some shit. The soundtrack? Yeah. It's great. Going, Crazy how the musical change oh. uh, games feel completely. I'm like, this game is fucking whatever. It's the music. It's the music. It's one of the most craziest parts about it. It's how good it sounds. Otherwise, it's just sort of like a basic focus puzzle game. It's just some weird shit you probably you might have rented if you were hyper bored. It's fun. You no, know, it's a great game that we've never played, Siphon Filter. <laughs> Oh, it's a fun game. Yeah, it does give you like time. Perfect! There you go, chat. Oh. Another perfect chat?
Here you go, chat. Say it. is a, a good price on the interwebs. Oh god. Read the chat. Chat, you done messed me up. What the hell just happened? Um, I cleared the stage. Like, when you, like, those black blocks fall, then, uh, you lose parts of the stage. You, the, the, your playing field gets, uh, shorter. I mean, how's just so ungodly minimalistic this game is. Yeah. You don't even have a background. No. You know, I didn't need it. It was an intelligent cube at the time. Oh, this game gives you your intelligence, man. Chat messing me up. Chat, how dare you? You know what we should play? Mm. Max is in here. Incredible prices. Third Ooh. stage. Third stage. Gotta really start doing the math now, chat. speedrunner on this. Probably are speedrunners. Like, perfect. And after a while, oh if it's the same... Oh god, I would love to see a speedrun on this. <laughs> ah, fuck. Fuck that up. But I can still... Sure, clean it up. Not bad. Yeah, you can speedrun the fuck out of You mark the floor. When it gets there, I hit X and make the block disappear. You don't want to get rid of the black. Uh, the green opens up a grid of at least six, depending where it is on the thing. Oh, there is a GDQ? Really? That's sick. I want to see that. Brush my teeth. Mm. Driving me fucking insane. Wow, I want to see that. Um, 
Maybe that could have been me many, many years ago. I just was like playing this game like crazy. That could have been me! Could have been me. Dysfunctional, thank you. Does this really sound like the words of a man who had all he could eat? <laughs> No, that could have been me! It could have been me! <laughs> huge fat guy. That could have been me! Oh, God. He was horrified. Classic Simpsons is so fucking funny, dude. Oh, yeah. Shit is goddamn hilarious with, like, hindsight and, like, being an adult, you know? It's so... It's so funny. World record for this is 16 minutes? Holy shit. I was 20. <laughs> Whoa. Here's he bored. He says as I. I used to quote that 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 whole scene to a friend, and he would fucking die laughing. Here he bored. Be he says I. I. This is Simpson. You are under oath. We drove around. We're still looking for a seafood place. <laughs> and what did you do when you couldn't find one? We went fishing. <laughs> we went fishing. <laughs> she starts <laughs> crying. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, we're not, I mean, when we're talking about The Simpsons chat, we're not talking about, we're definitely not talking about any other seasons of The Simpsons, beyond, but, but beyond like nine. The man I like playing on the manatees and those uh, those punks. You go, I love them when I see them cry and I'm like smashing them with <laughs> their, their jet skis. <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> I like uh, Matt McMuscle's new thing too. He talks about um, SNK and like they went with a new game with the wave with the pretzel motions. Yeah. And I'm like, here come the pretzels. And then <laughs> join the pretzels at the SNK van. <laughs> Perfect! I'll do this. Thing. I think I'm almost done with this one. Hold on. He is no man. He is a god who has eaten the sheep. Heart was eaten. Oh god. They're over. Oh, fuck! Oh, That's a lot of stages falling. Again! Damn, this shit is moving. I have like less floor to work with now. Speed run ruined. Oh god. Yeah, I, uh, I was looking at my Xbox and uh, the hard drive's only so big on it, so I was trying to figure out what I could do to put more games on it. Um. And I can drop them in over, like, oh FTP, which is pretty nice, because I have the whole Xbox library. But I don't know if the hard drive that's in there is going to be big enough to, to store everything, and I might have to, like, just considering getting rid of, like, the emu, the dankness of it, all the crazy emu shit, because um, the emulation doesn't run great, ooh. you know? Macho Nacho showed, did a thing where he showed, a, like, a full fucking mod for the original Xbox where, like, not only was was the output you know changed, but the the hard drive, the storage, like completely different internal storage, like replaced and done. So well, that, that's already done. Like the hard drive that's in there right now is, is three times as big as what was with the original. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh god. I don't know. But I don't know how big the hard drive can get inside an Xbox. And you know, if I switch out a hard drive, then mm -hmm. what's going to happen? I have to reinstall all like the software mm -hmm. and shit, and it's like. Oh. <clears throat> But yeah, I, I. Well, I think he also just, you really just, I think, got away at is at how many games do you have that you want to play, that are not available to play immediately on the on the Series X? That's true. And then that's a really good point because isn't most chat chat isn't most of the games that are like Xbox One backwards compatible now part of Game Pass? Yeah, that and just they're on Series X. Yeah, we're, we're talking about an original or original Xbox that is like our modified original Xbox, which I can fire up and show you the games that are on it. And whoops, but I haven't checked Game Pass in a while. That's fine. Right, but I don't know if like all the original Xbox games or Xbox 360 backwards compat games are um, are on the Game Pass now.
There are many that aren't, but the key big ones are. Gotcha. We gotta make sure we have Drake of the 99 pack. Get an HDMI mod on your OG Xbox? The thing is, the component cables are pretty close to an HDMI mod already. You know? can do at least 780, 1080i. On like, we can, I could show you. Actually, I was gonna say. I could fucking show it. Kenny, are you be done? Oh, uh, we're about done. Okay. Right. I could fucking yeah, show you, chat. What my Xbox looks like. Or it works on the Series X right now. Oh, yeah, it works on 4K. That's what they upscale. Oh. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna fast. Otogis are now on there, you know. Hands of Dust is on there. Dead or Alive Ultimate Collection is on there. No, thank you. Nice. Whoops. Oh, Coast to Coast. coast, coast, coast. Thank you. There were certain games that went higher than the grade. There was some. There was like football games. Um, yeah, I think it was literally football games. There we go, Chad. Perfect. Perfect. Jesus, that we, music. We did it, chat! We did it! We did it! Is maybe this the last thing we check out? Because it's getting pretty late. Oh, yeah, yeah. Start. Um. Perfect! Perfect! There you go, chat. Nice. Once every three year run of IQ. That's what happens. Remind, remind everyone that uh, it, Intelligence Cube exists. Yes, and I, that I played the hell out of it. And, and, and it's, uh, Kenny goes into like a, a comatose state <laughs> yep. until it's back again. No, yeah, the first time I ever played it was at a Blockbuster kiosk. I'm like, whoa, this is cool. And then I had to like buy it. Yes, thank you. Perfect. Thank you. And, then, like, and I think at the end it gave you your IQ. It was like, oh man. Well, I'm so smart. I don't want to be smart. Well, shit. I'm so smart. Shouldn't you just get good grades in school? No, no. that's dumb. That's dumb. No, I want a video game telling me how smart I am. Just fuck that. Fuck school telling me how smart I am. No. I want this game. It's more. It makes it better if a video game... It's better. The better if a video game tells me how smart. 